Hey there, my fellow designers and creatives. Hope you're all doing well. This is Chetan here from Design Parallel, and I'm back again today with a very new, exciting tutorial. And in this video, we're gonna take a look at the new improvements and features introduced to Adobe XD. This is the March 2019 update. We've got a quite a few features and improvements in this video, so without any further ado, let's get started. Alright guys, so before I get started, I just quickly wanted to mention that I have now created an account on Patreon. So for those of you who want to support me in pushing out more content, you can donate just $5 a month. I really appreciate it if you could. And once I reach a goal of $500 per month, I would start making live streams so that you guys can interact with me live and, and get a lot more knowledge and also have fun at the same time. So the link to that will be down below in the description in case you guys are interested. Anyway, moving on with the video, let's start off by the first one, which is related to copy and pasting editable vectors into Illustrator. Till today, you could only copy from Illustrator or Photoshop into Adobe XD, but today you can go ahead and, imp and copy and paste vectors from Adobe XD to Illustrator. So for example, if I quickly wanna show you, let's go ahead and grab a rectangle and I'm gonna go create a simple square. And then what I'm gonna do is I can go ahead and then press Control C to copy or Command C. So copy that. And I'm gonna to go to Illustrator and I'm gonna paste it by pressing Control V. And there you go, it's been pasted. And uh, let's go ahead and I can actually go ahead, object and choose expand. And once I choose expand, I can click on OK. And uh, this is what we have. Now let's go ahead and see if I wanna make some changes to this. So I'm gonna press P to get my pen tool. I'm gonna create an anchor point and then I'm gonna drag this anchor point down to kind of give it like, you know, make it look like a mail icon. And then I can copy this by pressing Control C or go to edit and then choose copy. And I can go back to Adobe XD over here and I can just paste it randomly. And as you can see, it's gonna export, uh, paste it right over here. So, uh, and this is again, completely editable because uh, this is a scalable vector graphic which is also called as an SVG, which now the modern browsers use a lot. All right, guys, moving on to the next feature is about batch export. Now, in the older versions, there was only one way of marking an asset for batch export, and that is to probably select the, uh, let's, let's ungroup this, all right? We can select one of the groups, and I can go to the um, layers panel, and I can click here to choose mark for export, which is gonna mark it for export. So for those of you who don't know what batch export is, it's basically a feature or an ability to give the developer or the person who's going to code the application or the website, give him the ability to download the particular assets. It could be PNG files, um, it could be patterns, it could be anything. You can just mark it for export and he has the ability to download the asset so that he can put it into his code. So that's basically batch export. So. This is the first way of doing it. Now, the other two ways of doing it is you can right click now and then just choose mark for export. But obviously, since this is already marked for export, I can let's actually uncheck that, right click and then choose mark for export. And the other one is by, you know, clicking, clicking over here in the properties panel and marking it for export. Now, the other feature related to batch export is when you're importing a Photoshop document. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna go to file and then click on import. And as you can see, I've got a couple of documents over here, Photoshop documents. I'm gonna click on one of it and I'm gonna click on import. All right, now as you can see, as soon as I imported it, I get this message saying 21 images from this file have been marked for export. So what's happening is Adobe XD is automatically recognizing these images that I have used in the Photoshop document and it's automatically creating them for export. So I don't have to manually go ahead and select the images and mark them for export for the developer to, to, to download. So if you wanna take a look at it, I can select one of this image and as you can see, uh, this picture has been marked for export, which is pretty cool. So if I just go ahead and select this one, for example, you can see this picture is already marked for export, which is really cool and really awesome. It just saves a lot of time for me because XD is smart enough now to realize what are the assets that can be exported through batch export and automatically mark that for export. This is a really cool feature. All right, guys, now coming on to the next feature is really handy and that is selecting objects across groups. Now, as you can see, I have a couple of groups here. That's group number one, two, uh, three, and four. Now, let's say I wanna select this first item and this first picture. 
Now, the first way to select an element inside a group is to hold down Control or Command and I can select uh, that particular image. And if I wanna select this image as well, I can hold down shift, but what it does, it, it selects the entire group. I wanted to select only this image. So what I can do now is I can hold down control, select this um, object. I can hold down control and shift, and then select this as well. So now I selected both of these objects, directly without ungrouping any of those. But in the previous versions, you had to ungroup everything and then select the individual elements. This saves a lot of time. This is one of the best improvements that they've had so far. All right, guys, so the next one is another awesome improvement and that is related to fonts. Let's say I go ahead and I'm gonna select this text that says Lotus Temple and I'm gonna come here to my assets panel and I'm gonna click on character styles. And as you can see, it's gonna create a character style, which is a robot of font. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead, right click and then choose edit. And I'm gonna change this to a random font called as Baloo, all right? And there you go, as you can see, the font has been changed. Now, let's say I send this Adobe XD file to somebody else, which could be a client or it could be another designer who doesn't have the font Baloo installed. So what he would have to do is he would have to download the font install it, he would have to then close Adobe XD and then restart it for the effect to take place. But now it automatically does everything in the background. It even works for Adobe fonts. So let me show you how this works. So I'm gonna go to my fonts folder and as you can see, I have the blue regular font there. I have a copy of this on my desktop. So I'm gonna right click on this and then I'm gonna choose delete, all right? And it's gonna delete it. Now, let's see what happens uh, when this gets deleted. Adobe XD automatically realizes that a font is missing. So that's pretty good. Now you have this new section in the asset panel called as missing fonts. Now you can, uh, it shows you how many instances it's been used in, so that's pretty cool information. You can even right click and choose highlight on canvas to show where it is highlighted. And also you have two options, one is to replace font and one is to actually, you know, install the font. Now I can click on replace font and I can replace it with any existing font that I have, which is pretty cool. But in this case, I want the Baloo font itself. So I'm gonna go and actually install the Baloo font. So I'm gonna close this up and install this Baloo font, clicking on install. And now as you can see, it automatically recognized the font and it showed it over here. It, I didn't have to close Adobe XD or restart my computer or anything. It automatically does everything in the background, which is really awesome. So anytime you're trying to open up a file which has some fonts, you can just install the fonts and it's automatically going to resync everything and it's gonna work perfectly. All right guys, so the last feature is about hiding the navigation controls for performing better usability testing. So what do I mean by this? So as you can see, I have a couple of artboards here and all of these have been prototyped. And I would like to understand how the user would go through the prototype and achieve a, comp a certain task without actually being given any clues or hints. So I want him to get the full experience without any distraction or any kind of information to hint or give him some kind of a clue. So if I go to share over here and I can choose share for review, and once I click on share for review, uh, I have a couple of options here. So allowing comments, which was an old feature, showing hotspot hints, that is also an old feature. And the new feature that I'm talking about is show navigation controls. So let me show you what happens with this turned on and without this turned on. For now, I'm just gonna uncheck the hotspot hints cause it kind of doesn't matter. I'm gonna go ahead and choose create link. And as you can see, let's go ahead and create a link, which I will open up. I can click on this button to open up in a new browser. All right, so it's gonna open up in this new link. And uh, what is happening is the user usually would kind of cheat and move through the screens to just see everything and he wouldn't actually play around with it and you know, be like a real user. So to make sure that he gets a experience which is very, restricted, what we can do is we can go back to Adobe XD, we can uncheck show navigation links and then choose update. And now I can go back to the browser and I can go ahead and reload it. And now as you can see, the navigation is gone. So the user would have to actually interact with the prototype, uh, you know, to uh, get it uh, to work. I can click on this button to go back to the home screen and you know, uh, I can make sure that he gets to start uh, afresh. 
All right, so yeah. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you did, let me know in the comment sections down below. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more amazing, awesome content. And I'll see you guys in my next video. So till then, take care and bye-bye.